Good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas Eve Eve. This is Jane Marvin coming at you live from the Villages, Florida. Yep, it's the day before the day before Christmas. And what I thought I would do today is take a run down to Aviary Rec Center, which is in the village of Hawkins, which is south of 44. I've been wanting to do this for a while and to show you what Aviary Rec Center looks like. That's hard to say. Aviary Rec Center. <laughs> and I thought it might be pretty to see what their Christmas decorations are. So we're going to take a run down there. Now, I will tell you that I live in the village of St. Charles, which is between the sixes, meaning between 466 and 466A. And I am on the side that's near Buena Vista. So in order for me to get down to Aviary, I want to take, I want to go all the way across to Morse Boulevard and head south on Morse Boulevard. And I'm going to cross the Chitty Chitty Bridge and go down that way to get down to the village of Hawkins. I'm also gonna sneak over and visit the newest village residents, which is my brother and his wife, Danny and Sandy. So you're gonna get to see them as well. And they live in the village of Southern Oaks. So um, we'll sneak over and see them. And then I am going to swing over and see my sister and her husband, Nancy and Bob. And they live in, um, the village of gosh i'll have to look it up i'll let you know <laughs> um they've been residents since 2005 and actually my mom was a resident here way back in 2000 and um that's what brought all of us down here so surprisingly it's my mom and her husband my brother my sister me and my one sister still lives up in new york and we probably won't see her ever down here permanently but she visits all the time so anyway there's a little bit of the family history <laughs> and i'll show you around down to the village of aviary and you get to meet my sister and my brother so i've officially put on my coat because it's like 50 degrees and i'm absolutely frozen <laughs> I remember back when I was in New York, it was 50 degrees. We were outside in our shorts. <laughs> I've gotten a lot. I don't know what the deal is, but I just get cold. So it's, it's cold. Uh, sunny though, it's beautiful and it's going to get warmer. So yay. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, from St. Charles, I'm going to head south on Buena Vista to uh, 466A and then I'm going to go along 466A to get over to Morse. So that's how I'm going to get over there. Certainly I could cut across some other streets as well, but this to me is a, the most direct and the easiest. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head down to 466A um, from Buena Vista and head across to Morse. So here we are going on the cart path along 466A, heading from Buena Vista over to Morse Boulevard. Otherwise, it backs up traffic on the roundabout and everything. So now we can continue on heading south along Morris Boulevard. So one of the things about the villages is that there are cart paths on um, the west side of Morse and there are cart paths on the east side of Morse. But they don't run all the way down the west side or all the way down the east side. So since we went through that gate, there are houses and streets on the east side. So if we were to have a house over there, we would have to get over there and we would have to go through an underpass. So I'm going to show you the sign that says that Moyer Loop, which is on the east side, is um, you'd have to go through this underpass to get there. 
since we're going to continue heading south, we're going to stay on the main path. So as you can see, there's the Moyer Loop sign and there's the underpass and it'll take you under Morse Boulevard to that side where you can go over there to Moyer Loop right through those gate right through that gate and it will take you to the homes that are over there. Remember, we're going to continue to head south, so we're going to go straight. We are still heading south along Morse Boulevard. Okay, so this is where it can get a little tricky and people can get lost. Now, what we have to do since the Chitty Chatty Bridge over 44 is on the east side of Morse, we do have to sometime go under an underpass to get to the east side. So we are at a place right now, and I will show you the sign. It's going to say Morse Boulevard South. And then it's going to have an arrow and it's going to point to the underpass. Now you could go straight, but if you go straight, it goes to the development that's on the west side and then it ends there. It doesn't continue on. So in order to get to Chitty Chatty, to um, um, Grand Traverse Plaza, we're going to have to get on the east side. So I'll take a picture. I will say that the signs are pretty easy to read and if you can um, keep your head in a place where you're traveling down Morse Boulevard South, then you follow the paths and you follow the signs and you should be okay. So here we are going down to the underpass. And now we are in the underpass, we're going to come out on the other side. And you can see the sign right there, you can see it, it says. Morris Boulevard Recreational Trail. And we will continue to head south. And you can see now we are on the east side of Morris Boulevard, continuing to head south. I don't know if you can see, but over on the other side, there is no cart path. So you see, we had to get over here in order to continue on. So if you're a softball player, this is where you would turn to go to Soaring Eagle Softball Complex and you would go through the underpass. But we're gonna head straight because right up there I see the Rohan Rec Center and that means we are at 44. So we've made it to um, Grand Traverse Plaza, which is a shopping plaza. It has Publix, it has banking, it has a gas station, it has a liquor store and some um, dining area. But we're also at the Rohan Rec Center and um, that's a regional rec center where you would have your sports pool. Of course, there's pickleball, tennis, there's an exercise area. Um, if I were gonna go over the Chitty Chatty Bridge right now, I would turn on to, um, I think it's called Catherine Place, and head uh, over to Chitty Chatty. But I'm feeling like I want some pizza, and Paisano's is in the shopping center, and it has the best cauliflower pizza. Yes, I said cauliflower. It is the best, so I'm gonna get that. But I will show you the sign that helps you to know where you should be going. Okay, so here's the sign. If I was gonna go over Chitty Chatty Bridge, I would go uh, towards the one that says Rohan Rec Center and it's Christine Way. So that's this area right here. I would go right there and stop there and I would go down there. But I want to go to the, um, I wanna follow the Morse Boulevard path south so I can go to the shopping center because I wanna get my pizza. So in other words, I'm gonna go straight. Just for reference, here's the Grand Traverse Plaza. This is where I'm going. The Publix is all the way down there. Lots of shops. All right, I'm coming up to the Chitty Chatty Bridge on my Christine Way. I wanna head south. So here we go. We're gonna go over the Chitty Chatty Bridge, which takes us over 44 which if they haven't done it or you've heard about it or seen other videos, honestly, it's very, very cool. It's just, uh, it's beautiful at night to see with the lights. And here we are going over 44. It's just, um, it's a great thing to really connect the villages. And here's a pretty cool shot of the bridge. We are south of 44 now. That's the Chitty, Chitty Chatty Bridge. And this is where we came down. Rex 
center. But as you can see, I've got to get to the other side. We're going to find out by going up here and we're going to do the underpass. Now for me to get to Citrus Grove to see my brother, I would have to go straight. But I want to get over there to Aviary, so I have to turn right. See, Megasin is straight. We've got to go north on Megasin to get to Aviary. And trust me, it gets a little confusing. Well, that's it for aviary really really nice center rec center i'm in a sweater i took off my jacket i'm in a sweater and a, a, a dress and i've got boots and leggings and there were people at the pool <laughs> i get a kick out of it anyway um i didn't show you but there's also a pool room and a shuffleboard uh, so uh, really nice rec center but now I've got to get over to Citrus Grove which I'm gonna have to go along Megasin so I'm gonna have to do that underpass and I'll show you and here we are along Megasin heading over to Citrus Grove and there's a lot of new development here as well this is pretty right along here see how they built up that pond with the stone wall you can see that crane way over there that's where the bridge over the turnpike is going to be and that's also going to be not only for carts but for cars so that's going to be very exciting when that is built well I am going to add the um, we're going to have the Azel Rec Center in here as well because it is finished and open and I've taken some pictures it's really really pretty all around this area is still under construction but the Azel Rec Center is open Well, that's it guys. I got you all the way down to Aviary and down to Ezel Regional Rec Center, which was an added bonus. <laughs> and I saw my sister who lives in Marsh Bend and I saw my brother who lives in Citrus Grove. So I made the complete full rounds and I'm heading back and it's a beautiful day here in the villages. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas.